All right, what's going on, YouTube? Here with Two Raw Gaming, bringing you another video. I had a whole different video planned that I've been trying to get to, but like this week just has sparking zero news and rumors and leaks and all this shit popping up. So, if you've been living under a rock the past few days, you would know we just got more V jump scans, which I did a video on already. It's already on the channel. <clears throat> but, but. <laughs> Now we have uh, more leaks and stuff like that. So I kind of want to go over that. So if you guys are looking at the screen right now, it says release date for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Yes, uh, in the last video, I told you guys how like there was a leak of it releasing in 2024. A uh, few months ago, I did a video saying that the game was going to release in October. I, I told y'all that was like a heavy rumor. Uh, fall time other thing coming out in fall of course is dragon ball diamond they probably wanted to capitalize on both of those together well this new leak here says this is information circulating about a data mine on bandai namco's official website about dragon ball sparking zero releasing on october the 1st 2024 uh it says i'll update a update upon any official confirmation but first of all this looks dope uh Right here, this is the data mine uh, uh, picture. Uh, it says Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. You have Gundam Breaker, whatever the fuck that is. That says 829 uh, 2024 for a release date. And then right here, Sparking Zero 10 1 2024. If you guys don't know, uh, October the 1st is on a uh, Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken, which Video games haven't generally released on Tuesdays, like like uh, physical copy of video games. They they generally move to a Friday release, which that Friday would be October the fourth. Um, but this is saying October the first, which you know, hey, I'll take a day off of work on, on a Tuesday and play it, and then you know, play it on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But look, I'm I'm on this game when it comes out, and if it's October the first, like that is just so much better. Uh, the beginning of October. If you guys don't know, October is going to be a pretty busy month, especially if this game drops and the rumor of Call of Duty Black Ops 6 to drop October the 25th, which is rumored to also be dropping day one on Game Pass. They have a whole event coming up on in June for that. But Summer Game Fest is next month and Bandai is set to be there. If this is true, then Sparking Zero will hopefully get the announcement next month that of the october 1st so what that means is if it is announced in june right so that's uh june july this is july august september october that's four months so you have four months in between uh summer game fest and october the first here's my thing announce a fucking beta <laughs> i don't know i don't know how many times i gotta say this announce a beta bro like uh we definitely need a beta, bruh. And uh, I'm gonna go, I'm trying to see, I can't remember. What the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we, I'm trying, I'm trying to find Slow Games uh, post that he did earlier. Was it Slow game? Slow, Slow Plays? Ah, I forgot the nigga's name. Um, I think it was this guy. Let me see. Dun dun. Ah, right here, yeah. So, Budokai Tenkaichi 1, which is the first one, October the 6th, 2005, October 5th, 2006, and October 4th. This is why it would make sense to just drop on October 4th, guys. If it dropped on October 4th, uh, it would be exactly uh, 17 years from the day of Budokai Tenkaichi 3. And, like, bruh. Bruh, I, I've already told y'all. So I have a, I'm already got to buy one for the giveaway winner that won the giveaway. But then I'm buying one for myself on PC, PlayStation, and the an Xbox copy. And the only reason I'm doing that is because you know, collectors' items and stuff like that. Especially if they drop a um, what's it call it? A, uh, a special edition package with like some kind of statue or some shit. I don't know. Give me, give me something good in this Bandai. So I know they would do like the little uh, limited edition statue type deals or whatever. But uh, yeah, man, October the 1st is looking like the date. If they want to wait till that Friday and do it October the 4th, exactly 17 years to the day of Dragon Ball Z Ten Budokai Tenkaichi 3. Like that'd be cooler as well. It doesn't matter. It's still within that same week. Um, and then it gives you... Uh, three weeks time because then after that of course Call of Duty will drop uh, and that's always a massive massive game um, I 
I want a beta. Like, at Summer Game Fest, bro. If you're going to announce the date uh, of the game release, like, just go ahead and announce the beta that same time. Like, you're Bandai. You're going to do a beta anyway. You always, you do betas for your Dragon Ball games because you know those are your biggest properties. So drop the beta. Drop the beta, Bandai. Drop the fucking beta. I want a beta. I want a open beta. Don't do that closed beta bullshit where it's like pre-ordered to get the beta. Nah, just get the beta to everybody, bro. Let everybody experience. And then they decide on if they want to pre-order. Uh, but yeah, anyways, October 2024. Just kind of what I, uh, I mentioned a few months ago. Like I said, most of the information I get it from is from President Rose's videos. Again, he always says take it with a grain of salt. Uh, we took that with a grain of salt. Now we have leaks that could all you take that with a grain of salt too. Like everything could be edited on the goddamn internet now, uh, uh, unfortunately. So um, everybody wants clout. Everybody wants to be the first one <clears throat> to drop information. So, uh, but anyways, October. We'll find out next month for sure. So, anyways, drop a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm out. Peace.